The answer is, lend me your ear for a moment and I will fill you in on the latest developments. So this 잠깐만 귀를 기울여 주시다면, they translate it here as, well, one of the answers could be, lend me your ear for a moment. It's a little bit of a saying, kind of an idiom, but it's still pretty business. If you want to make it a little more formal, you could say, if you give me a minute or a moment of your time, comma, now I will fill you in on the latest developments. So developments here they're using as a noun, it's not the verb, so it's similar to, you know, a project, the latest business ventures, anything like that. I will fill you in. To fill in, this is a phrasal verb. So it doesn't go by the rules. Whenever you have a phrasal verb, you always have to plus a preposition, which is why we have on. Otherwise, some people will usually use, I will explain the latest developments. Unfortunately, I don't think this is what this sentence wants to say. Explain means I already know what it is, but now this person is going to give me more details about that one thing. Right? So, um, I know what... Global College BITK online course is, I heard about it, but I don't know in detail. So you go and get some information which will explain more. But here, I think they're just letting them know, they're giving them information about the new and recent projects. So here we can also use, I will inform you of the latest projects. I will tell you of the latest projects. But of course, this inform is much more business. So a little bit of a difference between inform, tell, fill, and explain. This example, I don't know this yet. I don't know what it is yet. They're just giving me, you know, this, 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 this. Explain is I already know A, B, C, D, but I want more details. So the last, or so once again, the final sentence should be something similar to If you give me a moment of your time, I will fill you in, I will inform you of the latest project.